everybody, and welcome to another video. My name is Jack, and today I'm going to be talking about everything that I watched in November 2023, starting with movies, then going on to TV shows. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. What was your favorite movie or TV show that you watched in November? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, so on Saturday, November 4th, I watched Elemental, and it was a pretty awesome movie. I really liked the character designs and the art style. And it had an awesome story with great characters I love too. It almost made me cry at the end, so it was pretty good. On Monday, November 6th, I watched Sleepless in Seattle. Nora Ephron's pretty good at making comedy movies, and I really like You've Got Mail. But my only real disappointment with Sleepless in Seattle was that Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan only have like one scene together at the very end. And I know they have really good chemistry, so I would have liked to see more of that, but it's a great movie nonetheless. On Tuesday, November 7th, I watched two movies because I was home alone. The first of those was Up, which is a really great Pixar movie awesome story, great characters, and it has one of the most emotional openings to any Pixar movie ever. I also watched Frozen, which is crazy to think it came out 10 years ago, but it's an awesome movie with a great soundtrack and great animation. I especially love the characters Olaf and Kristoff. Olaf, you're melting. Some people are worth melting for. On Thursday, November 9th, on my flight over to Michigan, I watched WALL-E, which is a really great movie in Pixar's visual storytelling at its absolute finest. And at the hotel room, I was able to catch a little bit of Avengers Endgame. Truly an amazing movie, but my favorite character from that movie is probably Hawkeye. What I want, you can't give me. On Friday, November 10th, also in the hotel room, I watched a little bit of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is my favorite John Hughes movie. On November 11th, I saw a little bit of The Polar Express, which is an awesome Christmas movie that I'll be sure to rewatch one more time before the holidays. And on November 12th, I watched Onward. This may come off as a hot take, but I'd say it's a top five Pixar movie, just because the story of Ian and Barley's relationship is so good. On Friday, November 17th, our history teacher showed us Forrest Gump, and despite it being highly rated as one of the greatest movies of all time, I actually hadn't seen it before, but I really enjoyed it, really attached to a lot of the characters and themes, and it instantly became a new favorite of mine. Tom Hanks is the man. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That same day, I watched the Peanuts movie with my mom and brother. It's not the greatest movie ever made, but it's just such a fun, feel-good, animated movie. And it really brings all the Peanuts characters to life in an awesome way. On Saturday, November 18th, my dad showed me RoboCop for the first time, which was just a totally awesome, wacky, absurd 80s action movie. Movie, and I just thought it was awesome. It was genuinely good, but also kind of fun and cheesy at the same time. It, it holds up pretty well all around. On Tuesday, November 21st, my mom and I watched Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, which is definitely great. Be sure to check it out this holiday season. It's got a lot of heart, a lot of warmth and fuzziness to it. And there's just some great stories in there all around. On Wednesday, November 22nd, I watched the original Coming to America starring Eddie Murphy for the first time. Definitely a great 80s comedy. It's Eddie Murphy at his absolute finest. And there were so many scenes in there that had me dying with laughter. On Thursday, November 23rd, because it was Thanksgiving, my family and I watched my other favorite John Hughes movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is a movie that gets better every time I watch it. I won't spoil it, but there's a twist at the end that had my jaw on the floor the first time I watched it. There's so many scenes that are absolutely hilarious, but it's still a great movie with great heart nonetheless. On Friday, November 24th, I watched The Town, starring and directed by Ben Affleck. Jeremy Renner's also in it. It was really a great movie that sets up this sort of gritty atmosphere of Boston. And as someone who lives in New England that's been to Boston several times, it's definitely a pretty scary movie to watch. The action scenes are awesome. There's some great chase scenes. It gets really intense from the middle all the way to the end. And it was just a pretty solid, all-around amazing movie. On Saturday, November 25th, I watched Daddy's Home 2, which is a really funny comedy. You know, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg have some great chemistry, but John Lithgow and Mel Gibson definitely contribute a lot to the overall dynamic. That night, I also went to go see Napoleon with my dad and brother. And it was a truly amazing, well-directed movie. All the battle scenes were really cool to watch, especially this one on the ice 
That was so well shot and so cool to see on the big screen. You know, there were some great performances from Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby. All around, Ridley Scott is a great director. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. Now for TV shows. I watched multiple episodes of Star Wars Rebels this month, mostly in the first season. I made a full video about how much I love Star Wars Rebels. That's up on the channel. I watched a couple episodes of the DuckTales remake from 2017 which is a pretty funny, well-animated cartoon. I also started watching Disney's Gargoyles for the first time, which is an awesome cartoon show from the 90s, and I'll be sure to follow through with watching it throughout all of the next month. But the best show that I watched through all of November was the second season of Loki. The ending was just so climactic. It was so well-directed, so well-acted. The story was great. And it truly served as a fitting conclusion for Tom Hiddleston's awesome character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that's it for my first ever monthly watch log. Hopefully this becomes a thing I can keep doing month after month. You know, some movies I plan on watching next month are Disney's Wish. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, Leo starring Adam Sandler on Netflix is something I want to check out. I'm also going to be watching a bunch of Christmas movies too. So stay tuned for a December watch log. It'll be totally awesome. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and leave a comment in the section down below. What was your favorite movie or TV show that you watched in November? Let us know in the comments. We'll be sure to read every comment that we get. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, YouTube. See you on the flip side.